Hello guys, uh, welcome back again and uh, in previous lecture there was some error while executing UZ job so I figured it out basically it was due to uh, some of the Kerberos and Ranger issue because uh, I have my cluster set up with uh, Ranger and Kerberos that's the reason while there is Ranger and Kerberos in your uh, uh, cluster there can be some permission issues okay so just to show like uh, where is my ranger installed okay i think uh, i need to go to sensory it's the port for ranger okay. yeah so default username password is admin admin so i give admin admin and then it uh, loads so as i told in hadoop security overview lecture that the uh, ranger is basically used for authorization and you can like give all the permissions for a particular user which directory it can access and how which database it can access and uh, and like with tables or which col which columns and etc okay so for example in in this uh, policy because for every ranger we need to create policy for every kind of user so these three users can do all kind of uh, operations for hive table okay for uh, for all the database star means all the database and table the star means all the table so anyways coming back to our uh, uzi job so previously we have done all this kind of things okay previously we did the uh, 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 you know job dot property setup and then we went through the workflow.xml and figured it out like how does it work okay this recording seems to be popping it let me okay now it's good okay so in workflow.xml we figured it out like what what basically means uh, this getting this values which are dollar second bracket and this values are getting parameterized uh, from here from job dot properties and uh, this is this is the main class which we are using and uh, these are the default queue again this is getting from job dot properties and we copied the examples in our uh, examples directory in sdfs cluster okay and as i told uh, as i told that you need to copy the examples directory i think it should be copied in uh, examples of your uh, wait let me just see it once a user and then okay slash and then examples okay so here we copied all the examples okay i believe okay just let me check out once okay so in the previous lecture the error which we were getting is this let me show it okay it's, yeah so this was the error i i hope that you guys are seeing this good it's clear so this was the f error which we got and the error states that yarn exception failed to submit application this to yarn because user stfs cannot submit applications to queue root dot default so there is one of the queue for our cluster which uh, which stfs user does not have access to submit the jobs okay so by default this is the default queue in stfs cluster when you use hot and works uh, distribution so to use this queue you need to submit the jobs via yarn okay so what we do is we generate a kerberos ticket for yarn and this is the kerberos ticket for yarn right see nm it, it stands for uh, yarn okay and it starts with nm because uh, yarn has resource manager and node manager since it's data node 2 our uzi client and server is installed in data node 2 that's why we are telling nm slash our fqd okay this is our principle and 
So we have already generated the Kerberos ticket. Now we also what we need to do is we need to copy the the examples directory in our uh, let me just show it once okay now i have logged into our data node 2 where our OZ server is there okay and uh, we need to copy this into user slash yarn directory so you must be wondering why user slash yarn because typically in a production Hadoop cluster what is basically done is whatever user you are logged in okay it's better to create all the directories under slash user slash the user where you have logged in okay so if you see it's written over there we copy the examples direct in user slash yarn in stfs because Uzi will use input data directory inside examples because already shown you that example does have this uh, you know input data directory and it has also the output data directory and this will be used by the Uzi example job by default and it is a good practice to use the STFS directory under slash user slash whatever service we are using since we cannot use stfs here we have to use yarn because only yarn user can submit the job to our default queue right default queue only yarn user stfs user cannot submit the job in root dot default queue so that's why we need to use the yarn user and to use the yarn user it's better to copy all the things in slash user slash yarn okay so let us go to our ambari and see whether we have slash user slash yarn okay we have the examples in here right and you see the input data directory and over here we have applications and then we will go to uzi let me let me just yeah we will we will go to uzi okay sorry uh, we need to go to java main not uzi we are already in uzi examples okay we have already copied the examples for the uzi into the system so java main and then job dust properties you can see which we have edited already right which i have already edited and i have already told what these things means okay what these things means to basically means it will be replaced by the username from which we have logged in okay so in this case it will be root so let us go ahead and ju just run the command okay and we will go and just copy paste it and just copy it and let's run it uh, i think it it might throw some error because uh, I already, uh, you know, ran this job earlier, and for every kind of job you run in Hadoop, the output data directory, if it already exists, you need to delete that. Okay, that's the primary thing which needs uh, to be done in, uh, uh, you know, Hadoop. So here we are logged into Hue. This is the Hue interface. We go to Uzi dashboard, and here we can see any. Uh, here we can see that a map reduce job has been submitted okay which is this job which we just executed right now with this job id okay we go there and we wait for it hopefully uh, it will not throw error this time and also in today's class today i will show you how to build a uh, OZ job for pick scripts okay i will be just giving a brief overview about pick uh, it's not kind of overview just kind of application of a pick in OZ respect okay so i will be in future i will be creating a a like playlist for pick also but for now uh, this play should, playlist uh, you know is concerned for Uzi so let's just make it uh, make the things simpler and just focus it on Uzi but we will be using pick script here I will be I, I will be using a pick script uh, which I will be giving you guys 
uh, but don't worry if it like does not uh, run okay uh, does not you, you cannot understand that big script I will be covering in later lectures okay so here I think it has encountered some kind of error let's go to log and then see what error it is graph uh, I hope that is okay I believe the let me see where is the output directory this should have so the output directory should be over here any place okay let me just uh, scroll this and then see where is the output directory i believe it should be in uh, the output directory which I have already passed over here. Let me see. Yeah, it should be in examples. User slash yarn examples. Okay. Let's go to examples. So here we should have the output directory, but I think it has failed because uh, we already have the output directory over here so that's why let me just what i will do is okay let's go to examples okay here we don't have output directory so we should not be of concern let me check what we went wrong should not be throwing the error so I don't know what it's causing let me see okay so here it is here uh, we are observing some kind of error okay so what we will do is we will go over here and we see this was your job did not uh, went well it's failed as you can see so it's a our job history link where you can go and this link you can fetch through Ambali server and then under uh, the the yarn you can go to sorry under map reduce you can go to job history ui and then you can browse to these logs okay so let me just click over this job id and then it is throwing the error what's the error okay the error is job has failed because the user yarn uh, access right into user yarn examples permission denied for user equal to yarn user yarn examples okay that's strange it should not because uh, user slash yarn already has the permission for yarn stfs let's see see it's already owned by uh, okay so you know why this error is occurring because the examples directory is you see it is owned by stfs so what we will do is we will just quickly go to stfs dfs ch own ch own hyphen r then yarn stfs and then the whole directory name. okay slash user slash yarn examples oh uh, yeah slash user slash yarn slash examples because uh, examples directory only we are using to run the OZ job so it should be owned by yarn because the calculus ticket which we generated is for yarn so see now the example has changed to change to yarn owner and now again run this job let's run this job and uh, let's go to job okay 
just go to overview and in here I will go to dashboard and we can see the uh, job is running now I click on this okay and wait for it to run so what we do is we again go to job history server and then check whether it has okay so seems like it has succeeded right now okay this job has succeeded uh, let me just verify it should also pop succeeded over in here because uh, then only we can confirm earlier it has failed and now it has succeeded see let's go to logs and see what to stare it's okay running it will take some time to run so what i was speaking earlier that today i will be just focusing on bit about pick and i will be uh, making a new pick playlist also and uh, so tune tune up my channel for upcoming video lectures and also any kind of doubts you guys have or any special videos or any topic you want or what you want then you can comment on the comment section and of course uh, if if like a lot of guys push for any of the topic then I will be definitely making a video uh, for those topic okay so now you can see now the Uzi job has been completed okay now see it's a succeeded so we can see how it's what's in the logs you can go over jobs then you can go over here and then see it succeeded go to logs okay see that uh, it has completed so here is the full log from where you can see all the things okay so that being said now you know how to run the uzi job it's very easy and now i'm going to focus uh, on also while we uh, run this job we also have the output data directory okay because that was the directory and this was the basic the the uh, predefined examples which we want so that was the output which the uzi job job gave uh, gave so don't uh, worry about how this output came just as example of uzi we are not focusing on the uh, map reduce and the exact code part so this is the by default uh, because we gave it see in job dot properties we gave user slash user slash yarn slash, slash examples right so here from where input data is being taken output data is uh, you know put here so we can also change the input data and output data directories uh, as per our convenience and from where it will fetch the input data and where it will put the output data and the next example i will be showing that okay so before that uh, just let us uh, just give a brief overview about pig uh, what is pig actually so for for pig what we need to do is basically uh, again again what we need to do is as oc and pig both both components will be running the job by using uh, yarn as yarn so as by using yarn principle we will be the uzi and the pig is basically executing the job right so uh, uh, i will just show what exactly does it mean so right now we are in this location as you can see and you i already shown in the previous video that how to find the default uh, examples which are pre-configured in Hortonworks or PHP Cloud era but in this case we are using Hortonworks so here is the pick examples okay so now you do ls and then you find basically when in your system you do ls uh, here then you are going to find these three files okay id.pick job.properties workflow.xml 
this department underscore count dot pig this file is a custom made file I made this file and I put it over here so what this file basically means is see there is there is like okay let me let me uh, do another thing let me I already have one built in example for you guys so I will just copy it from here quickly just to not waste your time I will just quickly copy it and paste it over here set to insert and then escape and then colon and double go okay. yeah. so this is our uh, pick file which is custom made and I will be giving the code to you so what basically it does is it is basically using examples of services one dot csv this is a file comma separated value file csv file and I will be sharing you guys the link uh, for this file which you can also use for your practice so this orders equal to load means this orders will be having this file loaded and uh, this will be delimited by comma because the services one dot csv let me show this services one dot csv slash user slash example services one dot csv see this is the file and this is comma separated value right so what we are going to do here what we are going to do here is basically uh, we are telling that load this file and use comma as delimited so each ev each and every field is delimited by comma okay and we are you know making a schema on top of this and telling the first one is UHID which is scan array the first one is UHID and this is scan array like this is the UHID okay so what basically these field means let me just show you quickly this is the UHID, this is a user, this is a location, this is a doctor ID, this is build date, a service name, a service uh, quantity, a service type, a service category and department name. Okay, I will be sharing you this file, no worries. So we are defining on top of this this you know field as like UHID is carrier type, location ID is in type and so on okay we defined it and then we executed this statement ended this statement by using semicolon okay and then we grouped this by department name because in our example we need to know how many this is the department name right the last column see this last column is a department name so we want to group by department name so like there will be three blanks and medical there will be nine hematology only one like that okay so in this case what we did is grouped is one variable which we declared and this will be grouping uh, group orders okay because orders is where we loaded our uh, you know data which is uh, and it's separated by comma so this orders will be grouped by department name and this whole thing goes to group okay and then we do a for each operation on this group like for each grouping which we have made okay generate a group generate group and count the the like how many particular items that they are in a specific group, group and name that count as count it's very uh, simple if you guys worked in SQL and no worries I will be also providing a uh, pick playlist soon so hopefully it will be very much uh, helpful to you guys uh, if you really want the pick playlist then please comment down below and I will be making it as soon as possible okay so for now don't go much into the code how this code functions just just like you can uh, see that we are loading this file and uh, separating the values with a comma 
loading it in, loading it in orders and giving it a schema of this this is the schema we are giving and then we are then we are grouping the orders by this column department name to group okay and for each group we are generating a group okay for each group we are generating a group and counting that each group how many it has got okay so if in pick terms you can say like that that this basically this orders is a back okay and uh, this group will be tuple of a back so if you go over here i don't know whether i have done uh, describing over here over the stairs and it will be easier to understand but it seems like it's not there all right okay so no worries as i told pig will be pig will be covered in later classes so just for now remember this example and uh, so we created this example and to run the example do pig and then the script the pig script should be okay so i have done it under wait i have named it as pig_elx.pog so let me copy this and then I will make a proper extension otherwise it won't run extension of paste escape column double give solution and then call this pick ok and let me remove this file Now to run this uh, script we use pick because our pick client is in stpd into that is our data number 2. Let me show you. Go to Mbari and then go to pick and then pick client only one pick client that is in stpd into. Okay. So we go to stpd into and then pick and then this should be Okay. Might be it can throw some error because already I think uh, uh, slash user slash user yarn user pick demo that can already exist I think so let me check once let's go to my files there is a very easy way to browse stfls from Mario or Claudia also so it's better to have this just first so go to yarn then uzi then pick demo that comes here yeah, we already have this so, so in this case it will throw some error yeah see so the output directory already exists right so that's why it's throwing this error so what we are going to do is we are going to remove the uh, yes we are going to remove uh, this particular directory which is already exist ok so what we are going to do is slash user slash user pick demo this we will remove it ok so yeah now copy paste and then this pick demo Uzi is having pick demo this should not be here after executing this command <coughs> okay so now it is deleted and as you can see when you delete in stfs it goes to trash directory this is for safety backup in case you want to recover it like in windows it goes to recyclable bin so it goes to trash and this from this dot trash you can recover it okay in case something happens wrong so these all things again i will be covering in a separate admin uh, um, you know related uh, classes so focusing in our contextual lecture just go to uzi now see there is no files right so now we run this pick example and now i should go fine and i think you can expect the output what the output it should give and it will be giving in slash user slash yarn slash examples 
sorry slash user slash yarn uzi and pick demo and then output i will show you one see it's zero percent complete the first map reduce job is going on then it will be 50 percent complete and then it will be 100 percent complete see this is the uh, you know things it, it is doing and it will group by the department name and it will show the result so in this lecture what is my plan is basically i already showed you this pick script so i will be using this same pick script to schedule a job in uzi okay i will be using uzi to run this pick script that's it what we are going to do in today's lecture okay so now it's 50 percent complete fine see so running jobs and now already it should have this directory yeah see should already have this script. So our output directory was slash user yarn uzi pick demo department count if you remember. Right? See our output directory was this. Right? Okay. Mm, yeah now it has been completed. Now you go to department count and success means it is already success and part r000 means it will show the result. See Medi medical department 9 hematology 1 and there is no department for 3 that is what our examples it was having no department 3 count and medical 9 and hematology only 1 okay okay so this is how you run a big job now let's focus on how to run this thing in like uh, like in uzi right how to run this thing in Uzi. So what we will do is we will quickly go to the examples directory once. Let me just copy it from here and then go this. So this example directory remember if in first previous lecture this examples directory was extracted by uzi examples dot 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 gz so this examples has all the examples related to uzi only right it's written on uzi only so we go to this we go to this and uh, in your machine if you are using sandbox or you have set up your own cluster and if you go to this directory in hottenbox then you will see these files on job dot properties id dot pick and workflow dot xml let's go and see review this what are these files basically okay job.properties now job.properties this job.properties should be different in your case if you are using the default uh, like uh, example but i have modified it uh, as per my cluster and as you already know these parameters you can go get through core site and yarn site xml and then you just keep this a default and this also you know this also i covered in previous lecture that uh, how this thing comes up okay so we are using yarn kerberos principle to run the pick job okay to submit our mm, the the the, the in in the job in the default queue <coughs> because yarn has only the permission to execute this jobs okay now if you consider the previous example we didn't give any kind of input and output directory it was just a default uzi examples and it did all the things by itself it was just a like you know verifying the run test it's a kind of smoke test you can tell okay but in this example we give the input directory as this so we can also give this yarn as this to okay uh wait, let me show you in previous uzi examples if you remember i used uh, you know dollar then second bracket user dot name like this in uzi application dot path because in our example we were running through root user so it will be replaced to root it will be replaced to root like this okay but in our example 
it's very good practice because um, my cluster is carburized and uh, I'm also having a LDAP cluster, but the LDAP is not set properly. But in a production cluster, typically, what happens is basically LDAP is synchronized with Ambari, Ranger, Dew, and uh, Kerberos is also there to authenticate these users. And LDAP users should be recognized with each and every key tag for the Kerberos. Okay? These all things don't bother. These all things are admin part. It's not to be confused with any kind of relation with the OZ things. But since my cluster is Kerberized in LDAP, so uh, I had some issues earlier running into the job, so that's why I I wanted to share this knowledge to you guys. Okay. So in production cluster, what happens is basically whatever user you are logged in, whatever user you are logged in. Suppose you are logged in this root user. Okay. So you need two things. If you are having the Kerberized in LDAP in your production cluster, and typically every production cluster has Kerberization. And LDAP because these are the uh, you know the most basic thing for security features so usually this every production cluster will have these two things and if your cluster have this carburization and LDAP what you need to do is first you you have logged into this root user okay so in the production cluster this root user should be also added to LDAP user base okay there is suppose LDAP user known as XYZ and you have logged into this node by uh, to xyz okay su hyphen xyz so you have logged into xyz so you are behaving user at xyz this is the first criteria you have to log into that user which is recognized by the lab as well as kerberos okay it will be handled by this admin the second part is whatever kerberos ticket you have to generate okay that ticket should be for the user which you have logged in Okay, so for example, if you have logged in through root user, then you need to have the Kerberos ticket for root user in a typical production based cluster. Okay, but since my cluster does not have LDAP configured properly with the Kerberos, okay, it has LDAP but it is not uh, configured with Kerberos, and I will be doing this videos in some later video series for the admin and architectural part. For the hardware security and all those kind of things, this is not concerned with OZ again. Okay. So, just for the knowledge purpose, I am telling this. So, if you have like a root user, okay. So, in our cluster, in my cluster, like there is no LDAP and I have logged in through root, but this root user is not recognized by LDAP. But but all the jobs just begin Uzi by default. They are using as YAN principle to submit the job. This is because basically Uzi and basically they are doing the map reduce job, and all the map reduce job are basically handled by the YAN principle. So basically, we generated the YAN characteristic, right? Earlier I shown. So what happened? What we will do is we will keep all the examples to slash user slash yam. Okay, because we are we are executing all these jobs by yam principle. So as I have already told you before, it's a very good practice to to log into that user from where uh, to to sorry make a directory in STFS in the name of that user from which you have logged in. So if you are getting confused, no worries, I will be making a video on it. Uh, just to summarize it in what you should do properly is like suppose you have a user XYZ, you log in to the node by XYZ and this XYZ should be recognized by LDAP as well as Kerberos and then you, you do K init hyphen K, KT for XYZ user and this XYZ user should also have the privilege in this Q name. In our case, the default queue should be able to handle all the requests for XYZ user. But in our cluster, since the root or STFS, uh, you know, principal or the user is not having the permission, only YAN is having the permission to submit the jobs to default queue. So we are using everything as a YAN user. And since we are using everything as a YAN user, that's why we are creating a, a, a directory named as slash user slash yam 
in your production cluster if it will be like xyz user then it will be named slash user slash xyz okay and then you have to generate ticket for xyz so i hope that something is clear uh, now for now so anyways <coughs> so what do we do is in our example <coughs> So this is our example and for input directory we go to slash user slash yarn and then we put the input data from where the pig will fetch. This is the input directory. This is the user slash yarn. See this is having the service one dot cs. Okay. And the output directory is slash user slash yarn pig demo slash orders. So in our example we have already run this. So let me just uh, remove this uh, so hopefully and then uh, I will run this job and then the, this directory will create it again okay okay so see now okay this not removed it okay <laughs> remove some other directory <coughs> let me Okay, so this is the directory which I need to remove. Okay, now it has been removed. You can see in yarn there is no pick demo directory, but in our job we are giving the output directory as slash user slash yarn slash pick demo slash orders. Okay, and while using pick scripts in uzi we have to define this parameter uzi.use.system.lib part equal to true okay it basically fetches all the libra libraries which are required to run a picture okay and uh, to show you the location of this you go to slash user slash uzi share libraries so these has all the libraries and i have set these share library to true so it can use all the libraries uh, from any of this folder so in our case it will be using only from pick only okay it can use any of these libraries so it is very important to set this parameter as true okay and then uzi.application.path is same as for the previous example we did okay so that being said this is the job dot properties now go to uh, now let's go to department count the, as you know department count dot pig is already the same thing which we ran uh, earlier in pick script the same script i'm using here and uh, now go to let's workflow.xml well, before going to workflow.xml as i said if you are using the default system you will be having job the properties id.pick and workflow.xml this file you won't be having you have to make this file the file on, on your own uh, by this customized uh, you know code which i will be providing but this in this default example they are using id.pick but i will be using department.count.pick that's the only difference okay so you will see how it has been configured in workflow.xml we go to workflow.xml these all things you know what does this mean this is the same things it means OZ workflow OZ version name of this is pick wf start to pig note and after this pig note it will jump to this action note action knee action pig note and then it will you know take these values from job dot properties and now this is one of the interesting thing which we didn't see before what basically this does is after running the job uh, sorry before running the job it basically clears this directory why it clears the directory just to make sure just to make sure that this output directory does not exist so this is a thing which you have to keep as per your output directory parameter okay as per the output directory parameter which you define in job dot properties you have to set this so that uh, it it clears up before running this script Okay, otherwise it will throw the error that output directory does already exist and job will fail okay so this is the utilization of this now these all things are same so this all things let just keep it default and now in the script you need to put this script name ideally in your cluster it will be id dot pick but since we are using department underscore count dot pick we will be uh, 
<coughs> putting this file and in input we do input equal to dollar input directory and already input directory we have defined in job dot properties from when it will fetch and output directory also same thing and the rest all things are same for the uh, as for the previous uh, you know lecture so we just go exit from here okay and remember one thing <coughs> this whole thing this whole thing you need to copy to this copy to this examples directory okay of yarn this see user yarn examples apps and then go to then go to pick <coughs> then go to pick yeah job the properties so this whole thing which have edited in your local mode okay this all the things just copy this from examples from examples this you need to copy this whole example folder in user yarn okay user yarn should have on this your examples folder which you have edited uh, over here okay so you can cross verify it everything is same as we have defined see these things are same and workflow.xml should also have this department count pick okay and job properties should have also the same things which we have defined uh, in our local mode and then we transfer this to stfs and also after transferring you need to like uh, give the ownership of the examples to yarn stfs yarn owner group stfs because we are using yarn to submit our map reduce jobs right so that being said uh, let us run the oz script for this okay and uh, to run the oz script what we are going to do is see basically it is okay i think it is using okay i will so our it's doc examples and then app picks right apps and then pick this is the directory we are in right so i configured it so remember this config setting this oz job is taking from the local node from this stp dn2 it will go to this path and fetch the job dot properties okay but in job dot properties see this is where is the job dot properties yeah so in this job dot properties first uzi will substitute this name node value this 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 all these things input directory and output directory remember these two things are for stfs not for the local okay even the uzi workflow application path is also stfs not local okay but this job dot properties is basically being fetched by this uzi job through local machine even though if you don't keep uh, this uh, pick directory if if you don't keep keep the job dot properties uh, in your stfs if you don't keep you go to this directory and in stfs and if it does not have this job dot properties still it will work okay so this is the concept so <coughs> this is how we execute the command and uh, now we just run it and it's running and then it should pop up as per the output directory it should pop user yarn pick demo orders okay so it should pop up pick demo pick demo over here okay we go to hue oc dashboard we go to running jobs this is the running job which we have executed right now and let's see okay it's running it's still running and we also cross check the same thing by going to our job history server see right now we execute it 
So this is the OC job which got executed first and then after the pignotted job gets executed. Right? So we click on this. I should show I should show successful. Okay. Now you go to this. Now you click on over logs and you can see okay, all the logs parameter over here so now this uh, should have the pick demo yeah see now the pick demo directory has has came here and remember one more side note over here this staging directory dump all the uh, all the files for the, you know for the map process after map process there are some intermediate files being created in HTTPS that is being dumped in the staging directory okay for this example and don't play with the this dot staging directory permission okay it should be uh, either yarn or uzi as owner okay and group stfs don't change ownership of this otherwise you will be in a deep trouble okay the job will not run so in our example we gave the output directory slash user slash yarn pick demo orders and we see the success thing and then part are zero now you see the again the same step we have run through to see job see now here also succeeded see over here if you go to the job history if you go to job history earlier the first job was failed then second time uh, second time it succeeded third time also uh, we executed the OC job okay with our pig latin and for again we executed because two times we executed the OC job with pig latin okay that's why it's trying two times and again we executed this last time okay so first it's showing this pig and after that it's going to the OC job okay so that is how my dear friends uh, we uh, use OZ with pick script and in uh, future classes I will be getting more di uh, you know deeper into OZ and pick please subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot and please uh, feed give me feedback in comments and whatever videos doubts or the topics which you guys need to be uh, you know uh, you guys want the topics to be covered and share it with your friends if you find it valuable if you find it helpful and um, as always thank you so much have a great day bye bye